Shinde Chhatri. It's an 18th century memorial located in the Vanavadi area in Pune. It is dedicated to the Maratha leader Mahaji Shinde who was the commander in chief of the Peshwas from 1760 to 1780. It is one of the oldest buildings in Pune and a popular tourist attraction. The intricate carvings on the walls and the magnificent iron gate are a delight and a take you back to the bygone era. Its building is a spectacular amalgamation of Anglo-Rajasthani architecture. It has been renovated recently to get rid of mosh from the porous yellow stone and restore the monument's historic architectural significance. The three stories building is now maintained by the Sindhya Devasthan Trust in Gwalior. The Sindhyas are descendants of Maharaj Shinde and it was Madhavrao Shinde who built the Chhatri complex and also the memorial dedicated to Maharaj in 1965. earlier all that the complex had was a temple dedicated to lord shiva which was built by mahaji shinde himself it is one of the most significant landmarks in the city and is reminiscent of the maratha rule it is a hall that marks the spot of mahaji shinde's cremation on 12th february 1794 The major attraction of the Sindhe Chhatri of Pune is its exquisite architecture reflecting the style used in Rajasthan. The Anglo-Rajasthani style of construction exhibits a fine blending of two different cultures. The architectural grandeur of the building is appreciable with beautiful carvings and the building is the lively specimen of a structure constructed following the Vastu Shastra rules. The memorial retains its architectural design and beauty till date. The fine carvings and idols of saints on the steeple of the Shiva temple are made of yellow stone and the base and the centum centorum are constructed in black stone. The chhatri not only has carvings and paintings but also houses a gallery in it. Colored window panes used for the windows are of English style. The hall is beautifully adorned with paintings and photographs of members of Shinde family. Mahaji Shinde was instrumental in resurrecting Maratha power in North India after the third battle of Panipat in 1761. and rose to become a trusted lieutenant of the Peshwas leader of the Maratha empire along with Madhavrao I and Nana Fadnavis he was one of the three pillars of Maratha resurrection during his reign Gwalior became the leading state in the Maratha empire and one of the foremost military powers in India after accompanying Shah Alam II in 1771 to Delhi in order to restore the Mughals in Delhi under the lordship of Marathas He annihilated the power of Jats of Mathura and during 1772-73 he destroyed the power of Pashtun Rohilas in Rohilkhand and captured Najibabad. His role during the first Anglo-Maratha war was greatest from the Maratha side since he defeated the British in the battle of Wadgaon which resulted in the treaty of Wadgaon and then again in central India single-handed which resulted in the treaty of salbai in 1782 where he mediated between the peshwa and the british in 1785 mahaji shinde fought and defeated timur shah durani who had attacked lahore to gain it back from the six the maratha force under mahaji shinde confronted his afghan army and swiftly defeated and then routed them he established friendship with the six After defeating the Afghans, Mahaji Shinde and the Marathas brought back three silver gates taken from Somnath Temple which were stored in Lahore. He brought them back to Somnath but the priest of Gujarat refused to accept them and placed them back on Somnath Temple. So he decided that these silver gates were to be placed in the temples of Ujjain instead. Today they can be seen in two temples of Madhya Pradesh. Mahakaleshwar Jyotirlinga and Gopal Mandir of Ujjain In 1787 Mahaji attempted to invade Rajputana 
but he was repulsed by the Rajput armies at Lal Sot. However, he regrouped the forces and in 1790 defeated the Rajput kingdoms of Jodhpur and Jaipur in the battles of Patan and Merta, thus capturing all of Rajputana.